Welcome back to a new episode. Today we are taking a road trip and it is a road trip that is going to take us from Vancouver all the way to Marysville where uh, it's basically a day trip but I figured this is a great opportunity for me to give you guys a little information about Teslas and the, the what you can do on road trips and how much fun it is to take a road trip with a Tesla. In this case, it's gonna be a fun one. So let me show you where we're gonna go and what's gonna be the big thing. The coolest thing is, before you take a road trip, before you do anything, you definitely need to stop at McDonald's or wherever you wanna stop, just so you can get a good cup of coffee and kinda of go from there. My wife is right now in there having a cup of coffee, so yeah. All right, let me get, get into it. Let me show you guys uh, where we're gonna go and what we're gonna do. Naturally, because it's 6 a.m., it's dark, but you guys will get an idea. So we are gonna be going to, well, Tulalip Resort and Casino. Basically, it's uh, our destination is very close by, so we're gonna do it that way. With the car for us is gonna tell us exactly how long it's gonna take to get there, and that is obviously a wonderful thing because it's one of the great things about having a Tesla. Now, when I have, whenever I'm parked, I do have the car connected to Wi-Fi to my car. So so far, it's telling us that we're gonna get there in whoa, there we go, in one hour and 38 minutes. It's about 150 kilometers, and we should arrive around 7:41. But yeah, I mean, that's cool. And if you guys know this, you can pull down on that and it will tell you what charge you're gonna get there with. So in this case, we're gonna get there with a charge of 43%. And currently our charge rate, I will show you guys on the big one here. Currently our charge rate is at 84%. So that's gonna be very interesting. It should be a fun trip. We're basically gonna have a ton of fun with that. And of course, there's my wife, she has, yep. She has her coffee, so that's how we're gonna get going. Have a sip of coffee and get going. We'll kind of update you along the way. So let's get into the video and that's where we're gonna start our video today. Wow, it's dark, but there is, it's dark for a couple of uh, reasons. One, like I previously mentioned, it's six o'clock in the morning and more so it's um six o'clock in the morning in the winter so yeah it's very dark and i'm on autopilot basically the coolest part about this is you got to get something started now it's zero degrees celsius right now zero degrees it's cold outside uh that obviously will take a little bit of an impact on the battery but not a big deal great thing about this is something i forgot to mention you always have to choose your music and so what are we going to choose well let's find out let's put the car in autopilot we're in autopilot and let's see so we're going to go to music oh okay so we're already on uh, we use spotify i love using spotify i don't know everybody uses their own thing spotify and uh, i'm going to choose all the basically 80s hits it's look i love the 80s hits i love the 90s so that's what i'm going to choose don't ever forget to put your well put on music road trips require music so yeah let's do that oh wait no i won't i'm gonna get in trouble so i'm gonna start the music turn the camera off i'll update you guys in a sec okay so we just made it i'm sorry guys i can only put so much light but so we just made it to uh, the border crossing. So we're gonna be crossing from Canada into the US. I do wanna take this opportunity to point out to everybody that when you get to a border, uh, there are some key things that you really should do. And this is for, just to make this process a lot smoother for everybody, the border patrol, the, the yourself, and everyone else that's here waiting. And one of the key things is gonna be Take your documentation and have it ready. When you get up to you know, the Border Patrol, make sure that the, your documentation is all ready to go. It's in your hand. You're not you know, fiddling around at that moment. This is something that most people really miss. They don't think about. And it causes a lot of inconvenience for a lot of people. The second thing to that is put your internal lights on, roll down the windows, make sure that the Border Patrol can see clearly into your car. Uh, you know, nothing being hidden. 
you're not giving them any reason to suspect anything you're making their job easier and whenever you make anybody's job easier you become their friend a lot of people i see that are uh, whenever we cross the border one of the biggest things i see one of the, the most annoying things i see is people going through uh, let's say ahead of us they don't have documentation they you know you can see them fiddling around in a car as they're getting up to to that point it's not that hard people just uh, use a little bit of common sense consider other people i know it's a very difficult thing for some people to do to think about others not just uh, themselves but do that think about it think uh, think ahead and you'll be fine um, yeah i figured i'd just take this opportunity currently we're at the canada u.s border it's 6 38 in the morning uh, still zero degrees celsius which is really really not fun but um it is what it is uh, my wife is messing around with the camera there because she's my second cameraman today so that's kind of cool but so yeah a lot of the action shots and stuff you guys are gonna see is gonna be because of my wonderful wife over here so all right that's what i have for you guys now i'm gonna cross the border i'll catch up with you guys probably at uh, a rest stop because i'm definitely gonna I, I like going to rest stops, you know, you may have to go to the bathroom and so forth and so on. All right, we'll catch up with you guys at probably the next rest stop or if I see something along the way. Well, we just crossed the border and it was actually hilarious. This is the second time when I came by that somebody, uh, one of the Border Patrol guys, they asked me, it's like, what's a summon Tesla? Because they see the, the graphics on the car. Uh, this is the graphics, by the way, I'll put it up in case you guys don't know. And it's like, I'm telling them, it's like, well, it's a YouTube channel and, oh, okay, well, what is that? What do you do? I'm like, well, I like vlogger. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so the border wait was a little bit longer than we initially thought. I think I posted on Instagram, like it's like 10 minutes. It turned out to be a little bit more because there was only like one, uh, one actual stall open. But nevertheless, it was really nice. You know, it's, uh, what is it? Seven o'clock right now. Since, so it's been about an hour since we left. We're officially in the U.S. Uh, of A, in uh, America, which is uh, really cool because now we get to, well, have fun. So the coolest thing is, I don't know how many of you guys know this, but I love it. My wife just like puts a camera in front of me. So I don't know how many of you guys know this, but you can switch over from kilometers to miles really easily in your, uh, with your uh, settings. So what you do is you go into, push the little car, then you go into your display and just go down to the bottom and instead of uh, the distance just change your uh, kilometers to miles or miles to kilometers it's really quick change it's really easy and it just works out really well for uh, just having that transition so you don't have any problems this also helps you when you're doing uh, like right now I'm, I'm on autopilot which is really really cool I, I love using autopilot and for those of you guys who don't know I made a video on this before if you don't want the nag all you have to do is rest your hand like that just rest your hand on the steam wheel and you'll be perfectly fine you'll never get a nag out of it so right now we are heading my wife is actually recording uh, uh, what we're seeing here and like I said it's around 7 o'clock in the morning so now the, the light is finally coming out which means you guys actually get to see me here more or less and it's just a beautiful drive very few cars and it's just simple it's straightforward we're not gonna stop at every supercharger today i was thinking about doing that for you guys but i do have somewhat of a time limit today because i have to get to my destination at a certain time but i am gonna try and keep you guys a little bit up to date so there are superchargers between here and seattle there's quite a few uh, between vancouver bc and seattle uh, there's a lot of superchargers, so it doesn't really matter. Even the most basic of Teslas can easily make this road trip. And with something like the 100D, I really don't have to stop. But what I will do is I am going to stop at the last supercharger before I get to my uh, destination. And the key reason for that is going to be basically to charge it up to maximum. Uh, when I'm coming back, I don't have to worry about it. That's basically time I allocated. Plus, I do want to make another vlog for you guys. In case you guys don't know, I made a video called uh, Charging and Time Management. And the reason, the point behind that video was talking about how do you manage time and what do you do. So based on the time I have right now, from the time I left to the time I get there, 
I knew that I'm gonna want to stop at the supercharger uh, and I will show you guys that later in the video stop at the supercharger specifically because I want to make another video on that location and I'm also gonna use that time while I'm making a video to charge up the car to maximum get to my destination and then go from there now the return trip I will obviously not record uh, the main reason is because I am picking up a I am picking up some family members but I will not be recording recording the uh, the return trip it's the same thing just going backwards however it's beautiful scenery uh, it's just wonderful I love it with autopilot it makes I don't maybe it just makes this trip so so much better if you um, obviously you want to have music on you have a cup of coffee you have your uh, significant other or your friends or family and <laughs> she just turned the camera around and wave so I'll put that right up here right now see there you go uh, so yeah it's it's a wonderful thing to take road trips with with uh, Tesla's and autopilot is a massive massive help that's it I'll catch you guys on uh, my next destination hot diggity damn wouldn't you believe it we actually ended up hitting uh, rain it was so beautiful when we left and we are now in uh, Bellingham Washington and it started raining quite um, quite a bit now I mean it's it is what it is you can't really do much about it you know you kind of put up with it but it's no fun I never like oh man it's like I don't know if the microphone will pick it up but you can actually hear it like hitting the, the windscreen so so much my car is like my camera is like I don't I don't want to focus on you but yeah now it's pouring rain I'm hoping by the time we get to uh, Marysville this is kind of go gonna go away we are obviously gonna be passing through some uh, mountain passes as well but yeah, rain, what are you gonna do? That's the way it is. The cool part is we ended up getting um, out of the rain in like, I think it was less than like eight miles and then suddenly just cleared up and now we're back to, well, beautiful, beautiful weather, which is really, really cool. This is nice. I like it better this way. Uh, the when it's really, really heavy rain, I'm not a big fan of it, but yeah, it is what it is. We're still in Bellingham and we're doing good we're actually right on the mark we're right on right on time which makes sense because teslas are cool and yeah but i do love the using the autopilot it makes the trip so much better now we're going through the mountain passes you get to see lots of cool things uh, including a truck ahead of us which is like kind of all over the place but i don't know if um, we captured it but nevertheless it's really really fun to be able to drive on these kind of trips where you just kind of chill out relax and enjoy the scenery going through the mountain uh, passes in Bellingham I uh, I like it it's you're surrounded by trees you know everything is really really cool the speed limit here is about 60 miles an hour which is great I think uh, it, there's a lot of people that don't follow that speed limit by the way I think that's uh, majority of the people do somewhere between 65 and 70 miles an hour me I kind of always like to stick to the speed limit or just a little bit over uh, you know 61 62 but overall it's just such an awesome drive i5 I'm a huge fan of i5 going from Canada uh, you know going down south it I love driving on, on i5 it's a lot of fun the only time I'm not a big fan of it is going through Seattle because Seattle is a bit more chaotic uh, especially if you hit traffic but since we're not going all the way to Seattle, we're only going up to uh, all the way down to uh, Marysville. We really shouldn't hit any traffic. So far, we haven't. The longest uh, detour was obviously the border. But yeah, this is this is a lot of fun. All right, catch up with you guys later. All right, so we decided to stop at in uh, Bo Washington at one of the rest stops, and this is something that I get asked a few times. You know, when it comes to you know going out and actually going on road trips. How often do I actually stop? By the way, there's the car. Uh, how often do I stop? The truth be told, I like to stop after about every hour, sometimes hour and a half. But the reason I stop is because one, I want to rest my legs. Two, maybe I just want to enjoy the scenery. And here it's beautiful. You have, you're basically surrounded by trees. It's gorgeous. The best part about it is like three degrees Celsius here. Remember, we left at zero degrees. So it's three degrees Celsius. You can kind of walk out, get some fresh air. It's really awesome. I highly recommend that for everybody. So yeah, this should be our 
last actual stop until we don't get to the supercharger. I think so. I think. I don't know. We'll see. All right. See you on the next one. We're just now passing through uh, Mount Ver Vernon, Washington, and I just love the fact that like, here it's three lanes, it's wide open, uh, 70 mile an hour uh, speeds, and it's just so much fun driving down this path. I And the roads, here the roads are really, really smooth too, so I really, really enjoy it. You get, uh, my wife is recording this right now, but you get this right now with the cloud formations, it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, feeling the way that you you can go through this and really enjoy it. It's what, 8.03 a.m. I still have about 53% charge and it it's not, you know, I, I'm not, this is the, again, I keep going back to talking about road trips and how much fun it is to do it in a Tesla. They're just, it's just one of those things that I, I think if you own a Tesla, you gotta start taking road trips. I happen to know a number of you uh, who are subscribers, and obviously there's a number of you who commented, there's a number of you that I talked to as superchargers who simply don't take these road trips. Take these daily, like one day or half a day road trips. You're gonna absolutely love it. It it makes such a difference when you, when you uh, can get into these cars and truly just experience the beauty of of the world around you it's one of the biggest benefits of having a Tesla you get to truly enjoy your road trips you truly enjoy the scenery and it, it's it's amazing most people will not use autopilot they just simply won't and I, I have a I, I understand why I really do I know that it's a scary thought letting the car take control I've made numerous videos on this, so I'm not going to go back and talk about, you know, how to do it, but learn how to use autopilot. You will absolutely love it. And now she's recording me on this camera. Learn how to use autopilot. You know, it it's going to make your life so much better and so much more intense. Your vacations, your day trips will be that much better for it. You're, you're paying for the product. Learn to use it. All right, very cool. We just made it to the Arlington Supercharger. I still have like 48%. I think my wife's recording that. So I have 48%. I, I'm doing good. Uh, but I figured this is an awesome place to stop. And here's the crazy thing. The Arlington Supercharger is almost always empty. As you guys can tell, it's basically empty. I'm the only one here right now. And there's a lot of chargers here. Uh, I, I love it here. It's probably one of my favorite ones to come to on, on uh, this path. So it's really, really neat. It's a lot of fun to um, to come to this particular location. There is all the, as for what you can do, while there's not a lot you can do, there is, uh, there's a casino on that side, Angel of the Winds. And so I guess you can go in there and play if you wanna waste money, because let's be honest, that's what happens when you go into a casino. But um, overall, it's really, really cool. I fast chargers too, because these are actual superchargers, right? They're not like urban chargers. So I can check the car and see what the rate is at. Uh, but because I'm still pretty high, it shouldn't be too, too high of a charge. So let's go check it out. So my car is telling me that it's charging currently at 76 kilowatts. Uh, eh, it's not too bad. It could be worse. I think that has a little bit to do with um, just, I mean, if I go and do a little bit of a charge, uh, uh, charger swaps, like maybe if I go to another one, you typically can do that and it's going to raise it up. but. Ah, 76 i'm good it's gonna charge uh it's gonna give me more than enough more than what i need so yeah there we go all right next destination from here is only about 15 minutes away after i'm done here and that's gonna be uh our destination down at uh, twilio resort and casino and uh yeah i'll keep you guys uh, informed well we arrived in uh marysville uh we're at the uh, twilio resort and casino my wife is actually recording that cool and so yeah the trip it's 9.03 a.m. Uh, it turned out to be like 5 degrees, which is really, really cool because, well, it's not cool. It's definitely hotter than the three de uh, zero degrees I had when uh, we left. But short little trip. We're going to stay here for a little bit, enjoy ourselves, have fun. Uh, like I said, we're going to pick up some uh, family members and take them back home. 
just a ton of fun. Uh, again, I love taking road trips with uh, with Teslas. They're just so much fun, and they're enjoyable. The autopilot makes it so amazing. Uh, it's really simple, really straightforward. But yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if you guys want to see me taking road trips more often. If you do, uh, let me know in the comments below. I and if you think you have a specific place in mind let me know in the meantime don't forget to uh, like the video if you guys liked uh, this video comment because I definitely want to read what everybody has to say your comments are really really something I enjoy reading they're a lot of fun my camera is like tilting now because the gimbal is like you took a turn but yeah that's it that's what I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed uh, this video it's something different but yeah what can i say thank you very much for watching as always i truly appreciate you please uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe once again and everybody drive safe out there if you have a tesla don't be shy take it on road trips you know these day trips they really really make a, a wonderful difference to uh, how you can enjoy the car it also teaches you a lot about your car how she handles uh, especially if you're using autopilot how well the autopilot works or doesn't work depending on you and it's amazing times it really is just remember enjoy the journey just as much as the, the destination it's a shame when people I just see a lot of people going from point A to point B never stop never take the time to enjoy the actual journey in itself with Tesla's those are really really uh, easy to do you know especially with the autopilot and um, it's really important. So once again, enjoy the journey just as much as the destination. Thank you very much everybody for watching. I, we truly appreciate you. And with all that said, like I said, drive safe. Bye everyone.